Hi. I've, I've got a problem. Need to fix it because I need, I need this working. So, roll intro. So, in case you don't know, this is my Rook Scalable. And it's 250 by 260 by 270. Um, and it's a big problem right now because I need to print uh, a bunch of parts for my revival projects that I'm working on. And I need this working so I can utilize the, the bigger bed because right now I just have smaller rooks and my single switch wire. So let's fix it. So what's wrong with it? Well, it it's throwing an error that there doesn't seem to be a fix for. And at this point, I'm just done with the board because I've replaced everything else on this printer that it could be. All the wiring, all the motors, all the stepper drivers. Um, so what I'm left with is... Oh, and also tested it on the power supply, no difference. So the only reason that I can see now is that it's either the Pi or the board. And because this has a MKS skipper in it, um, that's a single board with a Pi and the board on it. So I can't just replace either the board or the Pi. So I'm just going to replace all of it. But um, so today it's uh, like five days until Christmas and... Nothing's gonna sh be shipped anyways, so I need to fix it with just the stuff that I have. Now I don't have any big boards to this for for this. I do have multiple small boards that I can temporarily just put on here, and uh, that'll be perfectly fine. But I'm going to try something because the error that I'm getting is only on the stepper, the Y stepper, and it doesn't matter which stepper driver I'm using. I've tried all the other stepper drivers. Whichever one is plugged into Y is giving the error, so I'm thinking it's a board issue. Um, it's just throwing that error. Now, what I can do is I can put on two SKR minis. I have a bunch of those. I can put on two of the other boards that I have, but I'm going to cheat because I'm, I think that if I just offload the gantry movement to one other board, that'll save me a lot of wiring, first of all. Um, I would only need to power up one board, or uh, one more board, and only plug in two stepper wires. So. I have a little Pico here that I'm currently not using for anything. Uh, this will go into another project eventually, but right now I don't need it for anything. So I'm going to, this is pre-flashed pre with clipper and everything. But I think I'm just going to put this on the back of my little um, electronics enclosure and then I'll try to use this just for the AB motors for the gantry because that is when the error occurs. I've tried, um, I have a macro to just move the bed and it, the error never occurred even though I did 8,000 up and down movements. But it does randomly happen on the, the Y stepper every time. So. Let's uh, do some sketchy stuff and throw this on here. Okay. <coughs> so this is the MKS skipper that's currently in this printer and I'm pretty done with it. I've had a lot of issues um, with this particular board so I think I'm just going to throw it away or put it on my my wall of shame back here and I have a replacement board coming in but that is for another video. So 
what do I need to do to fit this thing um, to only run the A and B steppers. And because of Clipper, I can just plug this into USB and have it work as a separate U um, MCU. Uh, it will need 24 volts power. That is easy because the power supply is right here next to it. And then I can simply unplug the AB motors from the MKS skipper and plug them into this. And then a quick um, config change should be up and running. So I, yeah, here's to that. So what I've done is I made this little adapter um, that'll go in and hold it. I was originally going to just put it on the back with some sticky tape, but that's a little bit too sketchy, I think. Um, it needs some cooling um, anyways. So this little adapter will just go on the inside of the lid. So this is the lid for it, and it will hold the, the Pico, uh, like something like that. Yeah, so something like that, and yeah, put this in in the printer. I've already set up the firmware. The only thing that I haven't checked is the direction of the the um, the motors. That's a quick fix, uh, but I want to get it all in and plugged in and and all that stuff. All right, so here's my plan. The Pico is connected by with power with USB to to the MKS skipper and then the X and Y motors um, and then my thought was that this should just sandwich in here um, when I put the lid on but I think temporarily I just put in a couple of screws I might have to flip some motor wires or something, so I'll just put in a screw and another one. All right, so now it's it's at least in here. I can can make sure that everything works. So let me uh, zoom you out and let's see if this works. Okay, so Pi is in, connected. I have a small hope that this should just work first try. Uh, probably not. Let's see if X goes that way. Doesn't. Let's see if Y goes that way. Doesn't. All right, so now I know it's flipped. So I can actually head to the Voron website. They have a really good little thing to see what to change so on the Vorum website uh, there is something called the initial startup guide um, it has some configuration uh, suggestions and on things you go through they have this really good diagram of how to change your homing so that it is correct and this one is suggesting that I just um, reverse both of my motors and I don't have to go in and start um, changing wires I can do that in the in my config so I'll just go in and, and change my direction pins from so right now they were inverted but I'll change them back to normal save and restart let's see hopefully that should have solved it All right, so let's try to home X. Good. Now let's home Y. Yep. And let's home Z. I need to tuck some wires out of the way, but I need Z up to do that anyways.
All right, so I guess I have my printer working. Now I need to spend like an hour stress testing this and see if that error comes back. If it comes back, I don't know really what to do other than having to add two boards instead of that skipper and the pie. So that's three boards instead of one. Really don't want to do that. So let's hope this works. Uh, so I'll be right back to confirm or not. And I'm back. Um, it's actually the next day, not uh, just a little bit uh, later. I did run the test for about 20 minutes. Uh, the, the test meaning a macro that just moves everything at like 500 millimeters a second to really stress test everything. Um, I did that and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to send it. Um, it was getting late, I wanted to go home. So I started this print, which is a gift for a friend. And it printed perfectly. The prints are just as perfectly uh, perfect as what this guy used to print before all this happened. Um, so I can happily say that this is fixed. Um, so this is still just a temporary fix. I am waiting on a LDO Leviathan board to put on here. Um, that'll just be the single board and a, I have a Big Tree Tech Pi going on as well. And at least now I have a functioning printer that I can actually use. So I don't have to just, yeah, waste this thing. But yeah, print is perfect. So now I'm going to use it for a while and uh, over the new years I'll probably start putting on the Leviathan board. Let me know if you want to see that in a video or in a live stream. Um, I'm not really set up for live streams, I can try one. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Um, I am going to do a video on that board anyways so I might as well put it on here but let me know what you want me to do with that board and yeah I think it is um, time for me to have fun with my printer instead of uh, getting angry so I'll I hopefully see you again soon uh, not being this frustrated so uh, like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and I hope you want to subscribe for more videos. So, bye.